During the Middle Ages, cathedrals were built in, in two types of architecture. First Romanesque and then more Gothic architecture. So let's talk about the differences between this and I have a graphic here to, to help us out. Romanesque architecture literally means Roman-like architecture. One of the reasons why it's called that is it has these rounded arches. Okay, So let's say we, we take this Roman arch and we want to build a really tall church. We've got a problem here because the force is pushing out. and What, what that is going to do is that's going to weaken the outside walls. So we're going to strengthen those outside walls by putting in buttresses here. And then that'll take the, the weakness out. However, because of these thick walls, you can't put windows down there. And so the sun doesn't really like that. The sun can't get in there. Uh, the only place that you're going to have windows is right up here along the top. So it's really easy to identify Romanesque architecture because it looks like a fortress in that it has these thick walls, has rounded arches, and most of its windows are going to be up at the top near the roof. It may have small windows along the bottom, but that's about it. Okay, let's get rid of our sun here. Now let's go to Gothic architecture. How is Gothic architecture different? Well, we still have our buttresses there, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to move those out. Well, now that they're gone, our, our walls are weak again. So we have to do something to take that force off of that wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to put arches connecting these, these buttresses to the wall. And these are called flying buttresses. And that'll do its job, and it'll take away um, the pressure on that wall. In fact, the force will actually move down across the flying buttress and down to the foundation. And the other nice thing about this is that the sun can actually get inside the church now. That's going to lighten up the church, um, and, and everything's good. They make one big change as well. Let's get rid of the, our Roman arch, and we're going to put on, on what's called a Gothic arch, and that's a pointed arch. So a dead giveaway here on identifying Gothic architecture is now we don't have those rounded arches so much. We have pointed arches flying buttresses, and large windows, normally stained glass windows, that's going to let the light inside. So let's check for understanding here. Let, let's see how well you can do. What type is this architecture? Again, notice the rounded arches, not very many windows at the bottom. The windows are normally up at top. So that's Romanesque. Now this church looks a little bigger, but again, Check for the number of windows at the bottom. Are they pointed or rounded? They're rounded, so this is Romanesque. Now here we see bigger windows at the bottom. Um, they're arched, so this is Gothic architecture. Notice the rounded arches again, so we know this is Romanesque. Good. Again, here's some examples of flying buttresses. So anytime you see flying buttresses, although those look like rounded arches there, they're still flying buttresses, so that's got to be gothic. This is a building that, that you're probably familiar with, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Uh, so now let's take, take this building and let's apply our new knowledge. This is going to be Romanesque architecture. Now don't let all the decoration throw you, okay? Ignore the decoration. They started doing this, but focus in on the number of wil windows at the bottom um, and the arches. The arches are, are rounded, so this is Romanesque again. Flying buttresses, so we know that that's Gothic. And again, don't let the decoration throw you on here. Um, we see rounded arches. We see very small windows. So we know it's Romanesque. Again, if we look closely, we can see these are pointed arches, um, larger windows. Although there's not big windows at the bottom on this one, um, if you look around the building, there are. Uh, but it's the, the pointed arch, the Gothic arches, that, that is a dead giveaway on this. 
so we know that it's Gothic. 